Hello, my name is Kim. I'm 59 years old and I built my own camper van. It's a 2019 Chevy Express extended cab. I mean extended length, not cab. Um, has a 6.0. It's a 2500 chassis. I love it. So I recently felt, finished the doors just finished paneling them maybe last weekend really thin strips of wood right here each one is individual so it took a long time because I first had to start with the bottom screw that in to be able to tongue and groove the top one in and had to go to the backyard to my workshop so it was a lot of walking back and forth cutting staining but I did varnish it two coats of satin finished so I didn't have to do that separately. So here's the back. Got the bed. The bed's a eight inch memory foam. Extremely comfortable. I did want to be comfortable. Um, love it. So here's, I have this drawer on slides, which everybody knows are pretty dang expensive. So this is the only one I have on slides. I have all my stuff I take outside when I get to camp. I bring a table and pan, my sink. There's a really nice stove in there, cutting board. All the camping utensils are in here. Cast iron pan for the, for the steak. can use this also if I needed a little table. Oh. My hand almost be in the way. Got a little bit of storage on the sides right here. Stick some flashlights, some odds and ends. Same with over here. Extension cord, shovel, rope, bug spray. It's smaller. I don't know how it got smaller over here and bigger on that side measurements I guess so I got camp lights in this drawer toilet paper some more gas here's a battery starter in case the band's ever dead got some good stuff I have a 24 inch TV two max air fans a fan when I'm sleeping um, yeah, it's all tongue and groove up there. So this is what happened. See this side has wallpaper. I got this really thin plywood kind of board. It didn't bend as good as everybody says it bends when I watched YouTube videos. And then it was white on one side and brown on the other, but the white just got dust and dirt all over and it just stuck to it and I couldn't take that. I'd wipe it off and again it would just all go to a pile. So I ended up wallpapering that side right here and I didn't want to do the same thing on this side so I just continued the tongue and groove from the ceiling and it was a pain in the butt. See the cuts? It's horrible but livable. I'll have to figure out how to cover that eventually. Let me take you around to the front is cut in the van and put this little no-co plug it just takes a little extension cord I have plugged in right now you have a generator out in the desert here's these doors I paneled took a couple of weekends um, this is my sink it's my plumbing it's all I have to brush my teeth and wash my hands. This is a USB. It's pretty cool. Just I think I only charged it once and I've had this van up and running now for almost a year and just have that plumbed here thanks to YouTube videos on that. Cut a hole in the cabinet and then cut a hole right here and then there's a little cap at the bottom and I let it drain into a bucket. I thought this was pretty genius I thought of. I put on the wood paneling bottom, I put that, um, you know, 
that stuff on TV. I forgot what it's called, but it's waterproof and it's supposed to fix boats. Flex. Flex uh, seal. That's what it is. Anyway, I had a really nice knob right here. But then when I added the panel in, the knob was rubbing. And then when I was driving, I could just... It doesn't move, but I swear it just the just heard this racket and I couldn't take it. So I said, oh, I'm going to have to take my knob out. How am I going to do that? And then I remembered people use finger holes. So that's why it's white. And yeah, but it works. Kind of disappointed about that because I had those cute little matching little animal knobs all over the van. And now I don't have it. Had to make a little medicine cabinet. Holds our medicine, some other stuff. Just bought puck lights, the battery operated ones. They're fine. We're not doing a lot of stuff in the van that we need a lot of bright light. Made this buffalo right here, this buffalo cabinet. All of this wood is cut out separately. I almost quit because it was so frustrating and I kept going and I'm glad I did because it came out really nice. Um, the upper cabinet, I just use these two by twos. This is that really thin paneling I have on the doors. See on the other side, it's like Wayne's coating and this side was more rustic looking. So I use that. I have just really light stuff up on top. And the bottom, all oh, the rug. The bottom, I do have a, a shelf here, cedar, hopefully, they say it keeps the bugs out. Just when I'm cooking, I take out my whole cooking thing, stick it on the table, has all my spices. There's a, another little stove that if I have to use on the inside, sometimes I use it to heat water to take a bath. Anyway, you have to cook, if it's raining or bad weather, then can pull up a table and cook in here with that. I think these need some WD-40. I did want a closet, so I made sure I made that. In case you want to go out to a nice dinner, I'm not going to have wrinkled up shirts. Right now it just has our motorcycle shirts in there mostly, desert clothes. In the top, just a little space for some towels and washcloths. Um, it's another little cabinet. Oh yeah, this came, this has a little lock on it too. It has DVDs. That's what that has. Another little lights. I have lights everywhere. Just bought these baskets for the remote controls because this one right here is the remote control for all of my lights and I didn't want the other remote controls to touch it and when I'm driving accidentally hit the button so I got over here another a flip up table that turns into my nightstand the Jackery fold out panels I stick on top of the van the toilet that takes bags, extra blankets. In this bag right here, have a projector, DVD player, and the cords. So if it's a really dark night, we can go outside and have a projector on the side of the white cargo van. Works out beautiful. It's like we're at the movies. Have the USB fan that everybody has. I, I do love it. It's so, oh man, it's just awesome. Um, and here is a Westinghouse 300. It works fine because it's just for the LED strips that go all the way around the side of the van, the top and around. And it also runs the two Max Air fans. I have one above the bed right here and then one over there just in case I do have to cook it inside, which I hope I never do. Anyway, I made this little thing. Um, I was going to make a lid for it, but it ended up being great just like that. We just throw some stuff in there. It's got two little stools we can use in case we are stuck inside because of the weather. I uh, painted a picture. doesn't look very realistic. It looks like a cartoon bear, but 
works for us. It just comes out like that. And then we can take those stools right there, put them on each side, play dominoes, cards, eat dinner. But I do have to say, I do put the camp stove on that table and that's how I heat up the water from the sink. And then you get a bar of soap and a washcloth, body wash, and sit on that little stool right there and take yourself a nice little van bath. And let's see, what else? Protection. Ta-da. Um, yeah. And the TV is a smart TV. It's a 24 inch, but when you're in bed, it seems like a 60 inch in the van. Got my little smoke detector right there. Have a sound bar that can be a Bluetooth for music, but I have it connected to the TV. So when we're out in the desert and there's motorcycles passing us with blasting music, now I can hear my TV. On this side of the bed, there's two drawers, a his and a hers. We put a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, the refrigerator, I guess. Here we go. I made a little case for the refrigerator. It had to have um, little legs on just one side because the van kind of dipped down. And I was going to secure it, get some little eye bolts and secure it to the frames of the seats, but I never did and it's never moved. Turn, starting, stopping, just stays there. So it's a pretty cool little fridge when we drive. 